Hi, welcome back to my channel, Hi Def Femme Hair. I'm Nomi Ruiz, and I get asked a lot about how I maintain and care for my wig once it's installed on a daily basis. And so I thought I'd do a video where I gave you a glimpse into my day and night routine. Now this one's specifically for curly and sort of textured hair, but you can pretty much use these tips and tricks for any texture. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and also share it with anyone you think would benefit from it. Let's go. So before bed, I make sure I brush out my unit, always starting from the tips, never the root, and be very gentle. So you don't wanna cause any more shedding. You don't wanna pull it out from the lace. Sometimes I braid my hair before bed if I have a curly textured unit, but that's if I have time and if I wanna wear my hair a little more natural the next day and not wet. There are a couple different ways you can wrap your hair before bed. One of them is using a silk scarf. And then I like to add an elastic band on top of the silk scarf just to add a little extra pressure for the install. But today I'm gonna to use this custom bonnet. It has a little extra elastic inside the headband to support the install. I like to part my hair in the back, especially with long hair, and I sort of bunch it up in my hand and create these little buns before I tuck it under just to sort of maintain the texture and the curl patterns. In the morning after removing my bonnet, I put my elastic band on once again just to keep it away from any moisture that happens when I wash my face or as you're gonna see when I'm taking a shower. I brush it out once again just to make sure there are no tangles. So here I'm in the shower and this is a unit that I've styled before so it has already sort of like curl creams and oils in it. So I'm not doing a full shampooing, I'm just rinsing it out and brushing it through to sort of like give it a little bit of a light cleansing and also kind of reactivate the products in it. I then lightly dry in a scrunching motion with a micro terry towel, sort of like a beach towel. I love using Cantu curl creams. I find it really helps to moisturize and also bring back a lot of the curl patterns. I massage it through with my hands, just gently sort of give it a little brush through with my fingernails. Make sure the product is evenly distributed and give it a little scrunch here and there. I then brush it through just to also ensure that the product is getting through to most of the unit. Then once again, I like to scrunch a bit more with the terry cloth towel. I always have a spray bottle full of 90% alcohol because I like to use that to do some light cleansing as well on the front of the unit. There's always a little bit of like gels and makeup that remains on your glues, especially for someone who does a lot of styling. Sometimes if you just wear your hair really natural, you don't have these issues, but I am always doing sort of like ponytails and slick back styles and baby hairs. And so a lot of the, the gels remain in the unit. So I find just lightly spraying a little bit of alcohol and using a baby hair brush to sort of brush through and cleanse helps to refresh your install. And now I'm using some Ghost Bond. This I think is a Supreme Hold one. And I use a little bit of product on the back of my hand and take a rat tail comb and just check wherever there's any lifting that may have happened. Just give it a little bit of a touch up. Of course, take your trusty blow dryer and dry until it is transparent and just push your lace right back in there. And it's like brand new. The temples are usually what lifts a lot, especially if you do ponytails and slick back styles. So I always make sure I give that a little bit of extra love.
here I'm using my three-in-one conditioning mousse that I love so much just to clean up some of the flyaways. I then like to blow dry a little bit just to get rid of some of the moisture because I find that brings back a little more of the fluff. When I do ponytails, I like it to be a little more fluffy. And to finish off, I always love to add a little bit of bio silk. I find that it just brings back some of the moisture in a way that just makes it a little more bright and shiny and looking like brand new. A little bit goes a long way. This is what the waves are giving after going shopping, after a walk outside. 